It all started with a simple thought I had one morning while getting dressed. Could the clothes I wear actually make me smarter, stronger, more confident, and just an all-around better and more productive person? I know it sounds like a lot to ask from a simple t-shirt, but for years I've known about the power of uniforms in other professions, like how airline pilots wear those hats in order to convey authority and expertise, and how firefighters wear uniforms to not only identify them as firefighters, but to also keep them safe and, well, protected from fire, and how a soldier's uniform can identify identify them as a service member and show solidarity and membership when they're wearing their dress uniform, or can serve to protect them and conceal them when they're wearing fatigues. And then of course we have doctors who stereotypically wear those white lab coats, which let's be honest are pretty much identical to an artist's lab coat like you would see on a painter or a sculptor, but more on that in a minute. Anyway, it got me thinking. Maybe there was something going on here. And maybe the clothes that we wear have the power to do more than just keep us warm and covered and avoiding uncomfortable conversations with law enforcement. And this was an important question to ask because not only do we all wear clothes, but we also see uniforms pretty much everywhere from school uniforms to police uniforms, and even in workplaces where there's not an official uniform, there's still often a dress code to avoid having casual Friday take over the entire week. But the real question is, if you get to decide what to wear, can the clothing choices that you make actually make you stronger and smarter and faster, and more confident and just a better all around person? Well, according to science, the answer is yes. If you're an entrepreneur, business owner, or you work from home, or hey, even if you have to wear a uniform all day, what you change into when you get home or on the weekends can have a profound effect on your attitudes and behavior. You see, there's a psychological phenomenon known as the theory of enclosed cognition. And here's what it says. Enclothed cognition describes the systematic influence that clothes have on the wearer's psychological processes. Basically, what you wear affects how you think and how you act and how you feel. The main study done in this space and in the field of enclothed cognition was done on study participants by having them wear a white lab coat, typically associated with a doctor's white lab coat, and then seeing if wearing this white lab coat would actually positively impact their attitudes and their beliefs when it came to to attention and detail and being extra careful with what they're working on. Well, you can probably already guess where I'm going with this, but here's what the study found. When the lab coat that the study participants wore was associated with a doctor's lab coat, they were more attentive and more careful. When the study participants did not wear the white lab coat, or more interestingly, when they did wear the white lab coat, but instead of having it associated with that of a doctor, it was associated with just a regular everyday coat or something that a painter or an artist would wear, well, there were no improvements in cognition or attention or being extra careful or detail oriented. The takeaway point here is that enclosed cognition relied on both the symbolic meaning of the clothing as well as the actual physical wearing of the clothing itself. If you have kids or nieces or nephews or friends with kids, you can see this phenomenon take place firsthand whenever they put on a superhero costume. Basically, as soon as they put on that costume, they assume the identity of that superhero and well, it pretty much takes over. Interestingly, the same concept, these same principles apply equally well to adults as they do to children. Todd Herman also talks about this in his book, The Alter Ego Effect, by using some kind of physical object, much like clothing, to tap into the best version of yourself. So clearly, wearing certain kinds of clothes can improve your performance on a very subconscious and very obvious level, but there's other benefits as well to sort of planning your style ahead of time and selecting what you're going to wear in that it also helps to eliminate decision fatigue. Decision Decision fatigue is the psychological phenomenon that takes place when you've got to make too many decisions in too short a period of time. Essentially, it weighs you down, it exhausts you, and the quality of your decisions deteriorate over time. What this means for you in the real world is that if you can eliminate these kind of trivial types of decisions, like what you're going to eat, or what you're going to wear, or what you're going to work on for the day, or anything like that, the more that you can automate and decide ahead of time, the higher the quality of your decisions, the more bandwidth you're going to have for those deeper level strategic decisions that really require you to be at your best later on in the day. This is one of the biggest reasons that Steve Jobs could pretty much always be found in his black turtleneck and jeans, or why Mark Zuckerberg became famous for his hoodie. Now, if you have something that already works for you, that's cool. Just run with it. If not, you're free to use what I use and what I've used for years to tap into almost superhuman levels of focus and creativity and productivity. This is why I pretty much only ever wear one kind of shirt, 
a shirt made by a company called Cuts. If you've been following my channel for any length of time, then you've seen these shirts. I'm unashamed to admit that I own pretty much every style and shape and cut and color that they make. Wearing Cuts really does make getting dressed easy. Not only are they comfortable and not only do they fit well, but most importantly, they act as my uniform. So I know that when I put them on, it's game time. See, I've been a huge fan of Cuts ever since I first started wearing their shirts many, many years ago, which is why it's such an honor and a privilege to get to partner up with them to bring you this video and to get to introduce them to you. So can clothes actually make you smarter? Well, common sense says no, but science, psychology, and stories from the world's top performing human beings all agree that what you wear matters. So check out the link in the description below this video and to learn how to create a successful brand, whether for you personally or for your business, make sure to check out the video I have linked up right here, which funny enough, I'm actually wearing the exact same shirt. So check it out now and I'll see you in the next episode. Put another way, a brand is your company's reputation. It's what people feel when they think about you. Now, of course, you can deploy marketing strategy and branding strategy.